I'm Alicia Holly here with Mrs. Clinker talking about the new Makey Makeys. In your own words, how would you describe the Makey Makeys? Makey Makeys are a small circuit board that you can plug into any computer with a USB cord. And what it does is then it turns, um, it uses a circuit and you can turn any object that conducts electricity into a computer controller. So you could turn a banana into a piano player, you could turn Play-Doh into your Pac-Man controller, you could turn wet paper towels into your Dance Dance Revolution mats. So the possibilities are endless and it really opens up students' creativity into thinking what they could do without any computer coding skills or anything but turning everyday items into computer controllers. And where did this new technology come from? We were able to purchase this new technology through some funding we got to help us create a makerspace in our library and in our school. And a makerspace, the idea behind that is really just giving students opportunities to create and design new things. And it can be using new technology like Makey Makeys or our new 3D printer, or it can be using very simple everyday objects like upcycling from things that, like old books that we're throwing away, like what can you turn those items into? or using uh, Legos and Play-Doh to create new things. But it's just the idea that we want to give students opportunities to be creative and innovative and um, just explore where they can go with that. Are you excited with the outcome of this? Yeah, I had the opportunity to take the Makey Makeys into a couple different classrooms. I worked with Mrs. Ahmed's class and then last week I worked with Mr. Thompson's physics students. And seeing the students work together as a team um, and just like the different things I would have never thought of doing. Like we had one student who created tinfoil shoes to help him make his Dance Dance Revolution. And I'm like, I would have never thought of making tinfoil shoes. Or uh, using copper wire that we had available. Or turning the old Bunsen burner holders into like a drum, the tin hat for the uh, drums or whatever. So just seeing the students create and working together is really fun, but then when you, they start to think about all the skills that they've learned, like learning conductors and learning computers, there's a lot of skills that they're learning too. And what would you say is the main goal that we have for this new technology? I feel like, number one, having students have an opportunity to be creative, but I feel like there's a lot of problem solving skills. So when you talk about translating what we're learning here at Franklin Heights into career skills, being able to work together and say, well, why isn't this working? What do we need to change? Or is there a way that we can make this work a little bit better? Um, and just seeing possibilities. So I feel like that is one of the biggest goals that I have out of this new technology. And while we're here, I might also just promote too, um, the Makey Makeys are available in the library. So if you're ever interested in exploring the Makey Makeys, come talk to me and you can use them while you're here in the library. And we also have the 3D printer, which this is something I designed, um, just the simple FHHS letters. But there's a free program online called TinkerCAD.com, and it allows you to design objects in 3D. And if you design something on that TinkerCAD.com and bring it in, I'd be happy to print it for you. So we have some different objects that we've printed in the library, but we're excited to see what you, as the students, come up with and what we can turn into, because I'm sure we'll come up with some really cool things. All right, thank you. Thank you. I'm Alicia Holly here with Mr. Thompson, the physics teacher, here to talk about the new Makey Makey. So what exactly what is the Makey Makey? Uh, Makey Makey is a little you know, circuit board that kids can plug into a computer and create their own controller using uh, the concepts and, and electrical conduction and circuits. So. What exactly is the like big goal with these new technologies? The goal with the Makey Makey Challenge for the kids was to uh, let them play. Uh, they had one day where they just played with it, and then the second day was to see who could come up with the coolest, you know, use for the Makey Makey. So it was very open-ended, and uh, the kids did a fantastic job and came up with all kinds of incredible ideas. So you were very satisfied with that. Absolutely. I was blown away. I had no idea really what to expect. Uh, Ms. Klinker was kind enough to come up here and explain them to us. And then 
the rest of the time was just spent observing the kids and, and, and seeing what ideas they came up with. So what type of things did they make? Well, we had one group who uh, created a controller for Mario Kart, and they had you know foot pedals um, that you had to so you could race the, in the game. Uh, we had another group that made uh, Dance Dance Revolution with wet paper towels, and so you, again you had to dance barefoot. Um, we had another group that set up like almost a full piano with bananas and they were playing, you know, any song that was requested. And then we had one final group that had an entire drum kit, you know, that was our percussion group and, and then they, they created a drum kit and played music. So what else is happening in your physics class? Well, today... Today the kids are starting their motion lab, so they're using the uh, Vernier LabQuest and the motion detectors, uh, little physics carts on the tracks, and uh, they're analyzing distance versus time graphs and velocity versus time graphs. Okay, thank you. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Got a blast. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Got a blast!